What's up guys? Welcome to Grunt Proof. I'm Randall. Let's get to some testing. Today I have a product that you guys have probably heard of. It's become very popular in the budget camping and survival communities, and that is the Arcturus Heavy Duty Survival Tarp. From what I have gathered, this is a civilian model of the US Army Casualty Blanket. I have been working with this product for just about a year. I've used it as a blanket. I've actually used it as a shelter. It's held up so far. There's one more test we need to put it through, and you probably guess what's coming. That's going to be the weighted hang test. We're going to do that later. Let's just go over the product real quick. Its dimensions are about five by seven feet. That's just about the size of the U.S. Army poncho. As you can see, I have destroyed their self-proclaimed waterproof storage bag that it comes in. It's very weak junk material. The zipper is pretty crappy. It's not any kind of military grade zipper at all. The storage bag is definitely the weakest part of this product so far. I destroyed it by trying to force the zipper closed when repacking it because one of our biggest complaints in the outdoor community is freaking storage bags are too damn small. Well, that's definitely the case with this one. Basically with this product, if you don't fold it exactly on the creases they created for you in the factory, it's gonna be extremely hard to get back in there, especially considering if your hands are cold, you're outside, the thing was hung up all night, as in my case, I used it in a snow camp one night it was drenched the next day. My hands were freezing. I was trying to pack it in there, tried to force the zipper closed, and it just ripped right down the side. It's just a little bit stronger than a Mylar blanket, those ones you get for two or three dollars. That's not good for the outdoors. And the stitching is absolute crap. It's one stitch, and look how easy you can just rip this apart. There's zero rip stop. There's no rip stop throughout it. So I don't know why they put these grids in their Mylar coating. Maybe they're trying to fool you into think it's ripstop, but whatever. This stuff bag is essentially useless. So let's take a look at the rest of it. You have on the inside your Mylar coating and you can see all the mud and stuff, what I've put this thing through. You have four reinforced grommets, one at each corner. And check out the rust. This thing has seen some stuff. So rust is not always a bad thing. It could show signs of cheap metallurgy. So as far as functionality, you know, this thing gets a pass. It's not just a blanket. You can use it as a ground sheet, as a tarp. You could put the four corners together and use it as a bivy, which leads me into my second thumbs down. There's only four grommets on this thing. Even the US Army poncho has more than that, and that came out in the 70s. So they thought to put extra grommets and buttons and stuff like that so you could use it with other pieces of equipment. This only has four holes in it to attach it to something. That tells me they only wanted to use it as a simple tarp setup or a ground sheet. They didn't have anything else in mind for you to use this for. So check out one of my winter camping videos with it. I use it as a basic grunt style A-frame shelter. Of course, it's very low to the ground because it's only five feet wide. Now, the reason why I slept with it like this is because I wanted to test out their Mylar heat reflective properties. And you know what? It actually kept me warmer than my tarp or poncho shelters usually would. That's a big plus right there. Another problem is I know they were trying to model this off of the army poncho and our old casualty blankets, but they could have made it at least a little bit bigger. Just give us another extra foot on each side or maybe two on the long side. It would be nice to use something like this as a body bag style tarp setup where you have one flap coming down underneath you to separate you from the ground. That would be pretty damn comforting. However, this thing is so small, you have to choose between using it only on the ground or using it as a shelter. You can't do both. Bummer. Right now you can get this product for about 20 bucks on Amazon. That's a pretty damn good price considering the Army Casualty Blanket last I looked was over $40. Now let's go conduct the final test, the one you guys have been waiting for, to see how this product will really do in a storm or terrible conditions. And that is the weighted hang test. All right, we've got weights on all four corners. We're testing extreme conditions for all the connections and also the apex or the center line where most of your weight is gonna be sitting. So let's set the clock for an hour. 
See how this baby does. All right, one hour's up. How we doing? Looking good. We got some stress on these seams. We're not overstressing the grommets. All right, looking good. No rips or tears up here. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. It failed the weighted hang test, and it's because it only had one stitching here, and as I said, this is a very cheap material. Let's say you just have a rip in the field. Watch how easy this turns into a bad day. So it will tear all the way down just because of that one rip. Zero rip stomp along the edges. Your tarp is done. That's why you don't trust YouTubers who just go out and camp for one night and play with some stuff and then they back a product with their name. That's why you need to actually conduct hard, rugged tests. That's exactly what we do here at Grunt Proof and now you see why. Well, there you have it guys. It failed miserably. And just by gathering it up in my yard, it just one little tear turned into a massive rip. It's like tearing apart newspaper at this point. So that tear will just continue down the line to your next grommet and your whole thing is just ripped to shreds. Look how easily it just rips through the product. Zero rip stop in place. The Arcturus heavy duty blanket is a grunt proof fail, no go. If they would have passed the weighted hang test, I would have gone ahead and give them the stamp. But after seeing that, combined with their storage bag, the tiny grommets, the lack of extra grommets, it's all bad. Now, if you just want a cheap reflective blanket to take out into the woods with you, and if you're just gonna use it to help layer your sleep system, or maybe put it on the ground so you have some heat reflection, it would probably work, and for $20, that would be worth the price. I've seen some actual fellow YouTubers who I respect push this product, so I had to give it a test for myself, and I'm honestly disappointed in those guys. So if there's any reps from Arcturus watching this video, you know my recommendations. More grommets, larger size, make the thing actually heavy duty. What's the point in guys taking a heavy duty product out in the woods if it's gonna fall apart on them as soon as there's heavy winds and rain and snow coming down on them. Just the fact that it survived my winter camping trips, that was pure luck. If I would've had any kind of heavy winds coming through there, my shelter would've been ripped off. I would've had nothing else to crawl under. That's a big bummer, guys. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this one, let me know down below. I think this is the first major grunt proof fail. If you're bummed about this product failing, just think about this. That's why you come to Grunt Proof to check out products, and that's why we don't mess around. We have objective, strict rugged testing standards, and as I've always said, if you're gonna call yourself rugged, outdoors, military grade, what have you, we're gonna hold you to that name. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. If you have any gear suggestions that you would like to see on this series, let me know down below. And better yet, if you have some gear that you would like to see in this series, you can hit me up through email, gruntprooftesting at gmail.com or any of my social media sites, and I will let you know how you can ship something directly to my P.O. box up in my mountain cabin or gruntproof HQ, and you can see your product be tested. Make sure you like and subscribe, and until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves. Ciao.